Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that this video does contain a lot of swearing, a lot of aggression, a lot of violence. So if you are under the age of 13, please click away now because this video is not for you. Um, viewers discretion is advised from this point onwards. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Today is episode number 5 and we are uh, meeting up with Lester to talk about a potential business deal. Um, we all, we all know how it is. Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from, uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. Shh, shh, shh. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now, they say it cannot be hit. Has it been yet? Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, I met him. He was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Well, gems it is then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but nah, he went quiet. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Haha. <laughs> right, let's go then. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Right, let's go. FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Look at Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Hmm, Here interesting. Hey, bro. Hey there. Oh, look at Michael rocking those glasses. Nice. All right. Oh, look. He could not pay me enough to touch it. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Alarms, vents, cameras, remember? I don't Glasses are live, shoot away. So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm. When you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. Cameras and the alarm. Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. Oh. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Jeep. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built the last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 
18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. Ooh. All right. Sounds Let's fancy. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> come back to me. Why, thank you. Right, let's get back into the car. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Right, let's uh around the block. We got to find a way up to the roof. Right, so way up to the roof would probably be behind. So Look, there construction yeah if they're gutting the place I might be able to get to the roof let's take a look so you keep up with the old crew you know, after your death slash disappearance there wasn't much holding us together I saw a ladder climb up it and see if you can get to the roof yeah you see him at all after the incident I kept tabs on him for a while needed to uh know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a hmm. puppy they had. Ah, ladder. I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? Uh, I can get higher from here. And... We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Nice. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. And let's climb all the way back up. Let's go. I I can hear a voice up here. I keep hearing a voice. It's really bugging me. Where the fuck is it coming from? Let's go down. Come on, hurry up, Michael, you fat fuck. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Right. Let's go. Meow. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. <laughs> good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window. Someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, we cut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. 
I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. Ha, <laughs> very funny. Right, let's get in. Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Go and leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. Making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Right. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll yes. have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. Hmm. The hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Uh, we're gonna go smart. Ah, grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay, select personnel with that in mind. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Uh, so I'm gonna go for and this so, one. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Mmm, this ah, one. Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker, back office, but this is the person who will determine how long. Why are there gunshots? This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Um. I think we need more time yes. than anything. Mm, good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. If you're happy. I'll start making the arrangements. Yes, I'm happy with that. Right. Uh, Let's go, Lester the, the Molester. The it's his nickname. Touch. Uh, yes. huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. Yeah. <laughs> You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Right, so that is our crew decided. Right, so hopefully we can get our first heist mission now. Um, or any mission. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down. So, well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful and the risk will be high. But you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Nice. Um... Right, I don't actually know what we've got to wait for, so... I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm obviously going to put another clip afterwards of another day. But for today's recording, I'm done for that.
Right, so we are back on GTA 5. It's been about a another, I'd say another week since the last clip. And uh, fuck traffic, we're not waiting for no one today. Let's go. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go and actually steal a Bugstars van. Um, which should be somewhere in the port here. Now, according to, where is it? Let's load up the telephone. So, uh, we need to, um, so there's security, so we can either go in quiet around the back, or hit them hard and fast. I only lost 15% of my deliveries last week. 15% of your deliveries, that's a lot. Right, let's try running in through the back. I think that would be a more... Some rubbers, just in case. Check. Let pest control license from the city of Los Santos. Ha. Check. Let's try this. So tell me again. How are we gonna work this? No way. That was so easy. I remember failing that mission so many times a couple of years ago trying to shoot out. Wow. If only all the missions in GTA could be that easy. That was a joke. GTA should be a difficult game. It should be fun and enjoyable. Um, but yeah. Let's go take this van back. Oh, I got an itchy eye. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> I think that's the front of the van a little bit oofed there. Let's hide. We're hiding. Hiding in the van. Pest control is on its way. We're going to kill the cockroaches. Fuck the cockroaches. Fuck them. Fuck the pests. Hey, up. Oh. Come on. How fast does this van go? Let's go fast and furious style. Meow. 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 Uh, is there anything else we need for this heist? I think this one's actually quite a uh, short heist anyways. So it shouldn't be too problematic. I have your van, Lester. Uh, yep, we already have the safe slot anyways. We don't need to worry about that. Right, is that done? Oh, there's a cat here. I'm gonna kick it. Alright, Lester. We got a pest control van. Good. I've got a line on the knockout gas. It's made in some lab on the coast, but two shipments a day come through the city from the northeast, taking it to the airport. Alright. I'll see if I can jump one. Right, so we need to get the knockout gas now. Uh, I think there's actually a fast car over here. Whoa. That little panto over there in the corner. And it's bright pink. Right, so we need to intercept this somewhere. Uh, whereabouts is it? Oh, it's on the way here. Alright then. It's quite a way to go, but it's alright. 
Another panto. Another panto. That's four pantos. Oh, you screwed up my car. No, I done that deliberately. Little dinky car. Crash into them. And another one. And another one. And another one. Jesus, there are pantos everywhere. But why? There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> and another one. Crash into it. I see some bad drivers, but you. Woohoo! What if there's so many pantos in like offline? And another one. Stop the vehicle! You're starting to piss me off. Yes, you are. Come on! Central, we have an officer down. Right, I need to try and lose the cops now. How am I gonna lose the cops in a humane labs van? We ain't gonna lose them easy. I would move the fuck out of the way if I were you, you stupid car, you prick. What a fucking cunt, all of you. Cunt bags. Oh yeah, so far, uh, episode 1 and 3 have been demonetized. Uh, 2 and 4 managed to survive, so far. Uh, but episode 1 was actually not demonetized until uh, a couple of days after it got uploaded. So I believe somebody reported the video. Yeah, fucking die, you cunt stick. How do you lose the cops in this game? Oh, you tip! Ah, I have an idea. Sorry, not really. Sorry, not sorry. Ah, two pantos. I ain't crashed, I just can't move. <laughs> I can't move. I have no tires. Come on. This I bet you you've never seen anyone. Shit. I've been spotted by the heli choppers. Right. 
That was the only way I thought of getting away, actually. And we're in a fast car. Woo-wee! Well, we did absolutely rubbish trying to uh, control that. But let's go. Fuck. You absolute buffoon. Drive. I just saw a fast car there. Let's jump in. Here we go. We go in. Right, we're going to get spotted by these cops, so we're going to have to. But we should. Whoa! That was lucky that that car was squashed. Cop cards keeping up. Come on, we gotta get away. Fucking hell. Ow! Fuck was that for? You prick. Right. Okay. Run our way out of here. Whoa, that was a lot of cops that just spawned in. Come on, no, out of the way. Alright, this way. Buggered. Come on! We had nowhere to go. There was four cops in front of me. And then the helicopter. There is no way of escaping a helicopter unless you shoot it. Right, what the fuck were you doing? What the fuck were you doing? Fuck off. Cut. This badge, we got some dickhead on the loose in it, fam. Fuck right off. Stupid cops. I hate the cops in this game. They're so bad. Well, they're not bad. They're actually decent. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. Yes. Banto. I think that should be our new little game that we play. Every time you see a Panto, we say Panto. Panto, just behind that grey car. Fucking hell, they are everywhere. Straight on, see if we can skip it. Panto. There we go. All done. We got away. Drive, you mother trucker. Panto. Just crashed into it. Unintentionally. And we are nearly at the garment factory.
Right, Lester the Molester, we have our knockout gas. There we go. Hey, Lest, I got the good night gas. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. Oh, nice. Score is ready to be done. The heist. And this is a jewel store job. Are we starting it now? now we all yes, we are. So that is going to be for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.